Okay, so by literally plugging in headphones and listening to like oscillating beats, you can change how your brain works. You can literally change your mood. You can even change your hormones. Yeah, you're probably about to click off this video because you're thinking that Thomas has finally lost his mind with some crazy woo-woo witch doctor stuff. No, I'm literally talking about neurons and the electrical pulses that they send to each other and how we can actually manipulate brain waves a little bit through something known as binaural beats. Okay, so maybe you've seen binaural beats before, maybe you've heard of them. So I'm gonna break down how this actually works and how you can use them to your advantage to help get you in the right mood for maybe a workout or get you in the right mood to go to sleep or to just help condition your brain to be a little bit better at switching between different wavelengths so you can tackle tasks better and overcome rough situations a little bit better. Hey, I wanna make sure that you tune into this channel every single Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 a.m. Pacific time. That's when all my regular programming hits. So this is the leading performance and nutrition channel, but we have all kinds of other videos just like this one as well that are coming out throughout the rest of the week too. Also make sure you hit that bell button and turn on notifications so you know whenever I go live. All right, let's get to the science really quick on what binaural beats really are. So in essence, binaural beats are where you're listening to specific tones that are at slightly different frequencies in each ear. So you have to listen to them with headphones. But the way that they work is, for example, let's say I had 200 hertz coming into my left ear and 205 hertz coming into my right via headphones. What's gonna happen is the brain is gonna have a hard time determining what tone is actually coming through because it can't really differentiate the fact that you have 200 hertz coming in the left ear and 205 coming in the right. So once it enters the brain, it starts computing a little bit and the brain takes the net difference between the two, in this case, five hertz, and creates its own brain waves based upon that. So yeah, literally, you just created your own brain wave. Now, this all sounds crazy until I explain what brain waves are, okay? So again, our brain is comprised of billions of neurons, and these neurons are electrical. So we are naive to think that we don't have electricity in our brains. Of course we do. Okay? Everything is an electrical impulse in our brain. That's how our neurons are actually communicating with each other. So our brain creates these electrical pulses. These pulses create a signal, and this signal is our brain wave. So brain waves are a very normal thing, and they're used in science a lot. For example, if you go and you get like an fMRI scan or any kind of scan that's measuring your brain activity, that's what they're measuring. They're measuring the electrical signals. They're measuring the waves, and they're measuring what portion of your brain is getting more electricity at that time. You know, you've all seen those videos before. You've seen it where the brain is all lit up on a screen with different portions depending on what kind of visual cue they're giving them. Still, electrical impulse, okay? But we can actually manipulate this a little bit if we know how it works. So we have five sets of brain waves, okay? We have delta, we have theta, we have alpha, we have beta, and then we have gamma, okay? So for example, delta waves are the waves that are there when we're asleep. They're usually from like zero to four hertz. So we never really get to experience delta waves because we're generally asleep or very close to asleep. Then we have theta waves. Theta waves are usually from four hertz to about seven hertz. And this is where we're drowsy. Some people like being in a theta wave state. It's like right before you fall asleep and you're just kind of like, whoa, everything feels good. It's almost euphoric. Okay, then we have, of course, the alpha waves. The alpha waves are usually between eight and 13 hertz. And this is where you're just chill. For example, when you're meditating, you're usually putting yourself into an alpha state. You're awake, but you're just very relaxed. You're calm, cool, and collected. Things aren't phasing you. Okay, then after alpha, we go into beta. Beta waves were usually 14 to 15 hertz, all the way up to about 30 hertz. And beta is where we live most of the time. Right now, I'm in beta, because I'm talking to you, and I'm, I'm awake, but I'm not super, super relaxed, but I'm also not super amped. You're probably in beta because you're listening to me and you're comprehending what I'm saying. Okay, then we have the extreme side of the equation, which is gamma. Okay, gamma is from like 30, 31, all the way up to 100 hertz. Okay, and this brainwave set is when you're super hyper-focused, very attentive. A good example is someone that is jumping off a cliff, base jumping. They're gonna be in the gamma state because they are very focused. They need to know when to pull the chute. There's no way that you can be in a flow state and not be in those gamma waves. So gamma waves is a very, very important thing, but it's also not studied a whole, whole lot. So basically, with binaural beats, you can put yourself into a desired brainwave state. Basically, by creating the right delta between the two hertz that are coming in your left ear and your right ear, you can put yourself in a specific state. So let's say, for example, you wanna put yourself in an alpha state at 10 hertz. You would listen to binaural beats that are gonna put you at a delta of 10 hertz. So maybe 200 hertz in your left ear, 210 hertz in your right. Therefore, the brain creates its new wave at 10 hertz, the difference between 200 
and 210. So literally, it creates its own brainwave, forcing your body to physiologically, emotionally, mentally adapt to that. This is how you can game the system. It's pretty darn cool. And before you think I'm totally crazy, let me give you a little bit of evidence. This is looking at the actual hormonal side of things, showing that by changing our brain waves, it changes our body chemistry. And this is very profound. So Dr. Giampapa did some research a couple of decades ago on this. This stuff's been around for a while. And he wanted to find the correlation between alpha, theta, and delta waves created with binaural beats and their effect on cortisol, DHEA, and melatonin. Hold on to your hats, because honestly, this is some crazy, crazy stuff. All right, so what he found, when you were exposed to the proper waves, your DHEA levels, which are basically your marker for physiological aging, increased by 43% on average. That's huge, 43% increase in DHEA. Precursors to testosterone, precursors to all these hormones that allow us to be either male or female and allow us to basically fight aging. That's a huge increase. That's not anything small or anything that's negligible. Okay, the next one was cortisol. He found that you could reduce your cortisol levels by 46%. That's on average. Okay, some as high as 70 to 80%. Reductions in cortisol just by listening to binaural beats that change the hertz up a little bit. That's very profound stuff. And lastly, melatonin. Okay, melatonin is a neurotransmitter that helps you go to sleep. It helps you fall asleep. It triggers all kinds of these cascading things in your body that allow you to just peacefully go out, okay? Well, what he found, again, is when you put yourself into the right brainwave state by using binaural beats, get ready for this, 97% increase in melatonin, 97%. So you can definitely help yourself fall asleep by using the right binaural beats. So here's some things we have to consider with binaural beats. Okay, there's lots of places that you can find them. You can go on Amazon Music, you can go on YouTube, you can go anywhere, you're, you're gonna find them. You can find them everywhere. You just wanna make sure that you're getting the right waves for where you want to go. But the hard thing is the brain doesn't really do very well over 30 hertz with binaural beats. So if you're trying to get yourself into a high gamma state, you're not gonna really be able to do it with binaural beats, at least not yet, because 30 is about the maximum hertz that we're really able to accomplish through binaural beats. After that, the brain just gets confused. So we can get ourselves all the way to delta, we can go theta, we can go alpha, we can go beta, but gamma is pretty hard to do. The only true way that you can get into an awesome gamma state is by getting into your flow state. And you can see my video on a flow state and all that stuff if you want to, but flow state is a very remarkable thing that honestly just can't be biohacked. You just have to figure it out on your own. The other thing that's really, really cool that you can exercise with binaural beats is by listening to binaural beats that change the brain waves in which you're going to experience. So what I mean by that is you might listen to some binaural beats that put you into a theta state, but if you listen in that same continuum to a binaural beat that's also gonna put you into an alpha state right after that, so basically go from one brain wave state to another, you allow your brain to develop the neuroplasticity, the ability to switch between them easier when you're not listening to them. So what I mean by that is you make your brain very flexible. You make it so that your brain has the ability to almost consciously switch from alpha to beta to theta to delta whenever you need to. This makes you a remarkable person. This makes you able to truly change your personality if you wanted to at the snap of a finger because you can collect yourself and you have the neuroplasticity for your brain to actually fire the neurons the right way into a different brainwave state. You develop the pathway to now become a more calm person when stressful situations arise where you would normally just end up in high beta or possibly even gamma because you're so stressed out. So binaural beats are no joke. I use them before I work out. I use them before I meditate. A lot of times I use them before I film so I can make sure I retain information and put myself in the right state. The wrong brainwave state, for example, being in theta when you're trying to be super attentive could be detrimental. So you wanna use them with caution, but I encourage you to experiment with them. Try them out, see how it works. See how it works with your food addictions, with your cravings, with everything. Trust me, if we can start hacking our brains a little bit, we can hack the rest of our bodies. So if you have ideas for future videos or there's any specific video that you really wanna see that's sort of a subset of this topic, put it down in the comment section below. We always read them and we always consider creating new videos based upon those. I'll see you in the next one.